Hello future scientists! In Unit 4 Material Properties, we will continue to learn about different materials. This week, we will describe about different materials and identify these different materials we use in the kitchen. Everything around us is made from materials and all objects are made from these materials like plastic, paper, fabric, glass, wood, leather, ceramics, and a lot more. You also have learned about different textures of materials. And now we will sort these materials into groups of different textures. In your learner's book, page 80, Sorting Arrows, some stage 1 learners have been using sorting arrows. They sorted materials from the most bumpy to the smoothest. Using their sense of touch, they felt each material and put them in order like this. Now you can see here the building bricks from most bumpy up to the smoothest. After building bricks comes the mat, then the sandpaper and the orange and the plastic toy. Now can you try to sort your materials and objects from shiniest to dullest? What about from bendy to not bendy or rigid? You can also sort or put your materials in order from most tall to shortest or from smallest to biggest or from most rigid to bendy. There are a lot of ways how you could group and sort these different objects. Look at all the objects in the picture below. Now draw an arrow pointing to each object, then write what it is made from. This kitchen towels, it has paper material. What about this tea towel? How about the water bottle? This drinking glass, this chopping board, this cutlery, and this saucepan. In number two, name one object in your kitchen that is made from each of the materials below. For metal, so what do you think is object that is metal material? Yeah, that is a saucepan. How about glass? So we will write here bottle. And for plastic, we can write the spoon or the fork. How about the fabric? We can write the towel. Now that you can sort and arrange these objects according to their groups, do you always agree with each other when sorting materials? And what are the other ways you can sort these materials? Until next time, thank you for listening.